Hey dolls, this is Crystal Chanel, and I wanted to also record a video. I know if you were watching my channel, you saw that I already launched a video about the vitamins I take. I just figure while I have the good lighting, um, I should go ahead and use this opportunity to talk about how to avoid loose skin. I tried what I did personally to avoid some loose skin. I wanted to share with you guys. So just a few simple tips. Hopefully it's helpful. Stay tuned. Okay, some of the things I did in particular, which I don't recommend, like, you know, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nutritionist, it's just someone that had surgery before me, um, they told me what they did, and, and basically it worked for them, so I was thinking, okay, it's gonna work for me. So basically, um, you get really strict eating guidelines, and once you start to tolerate some of the older foods that you were eating before, um, you know, you can eat them. Now, obviously, you don't want to eat like you ate before because that's kind of the reason which led you to the surgery. You don't want to waste your time or your money or put your body through unnecessary stress for no reason. But um, what I was told by one of the people that got surgery before me was that, you know, just take your time. Like, the weight loss is not a race. Think of it as like a marathon for the rest of your life. So with that being said, I do believe when you lose a lot of weight very fast in like short amount of time that your loose skin will be more more um, substantial like you're prone more to having really obvious loose skin so I didn't want to lose weight in a very f small amount of time now you to a certain extent cannot control how your body reacts to surgery and how you're going to lose weight but I also didn't pay too much attention to um, some of the foods that were on my never list. Um, examples of that are like sweets. Like I could still tolerate sweets. They still made me nauseous if I ate too much. So the surgery is just a tool. Like, you know, it helped me say, hey, this is too much. But I still incorporated them in my diet. Like I would still sometimes have fried food. Like by no means am I recommending, if you don't want loose skin, eat horrible. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just telling you what was in my head and what I did personally. I still have loose skin, but I don't think it's horrendous. And I, I did have a lot of extra fat. So I'm, I'm pleased with what I did and, and you know how it turned out. Just not a recommendation from me per se and no guarantee that you'll have the same results. So. As far as the foods that I ate, um, I didn't cut everything horrible out. Like I, I ate some high calorie items still, like my cheese. Everybody knows that I love cheese. Um, you know, I kind of ate that stuff in moderation. Another thing that I did was I worked out, but I didn't kill cardio. One of the things, again, I was nervous about with surgery was having a lot of loose skin. And I feel like with cardio, it's like, you are a big balloon and then once you do a lot of cardio you're just a shriveled up balloon now, i didn't want to look shriveled up i didn't want to look sickly so what i did was cardio of course, i don't know but i don't know if it's like polymetrics or something where you're using your own body weight and resistance i did a lot of the videos like my homegirl who had the surgery gave me um this it's kind of like intensity but it was like a little bit easy not easier it was just like a non like off brand or something i don't know but it actually helped me out it was like a 90 day program but a lot of it was using your own body weight for like your arms toning for your obliques for your stomach for your thighs your quads your glutes so i did a lot of home videos so i said all that just to say that with trying to prevent loose skin like first of all you have to just be okay with the fact that you're gonna have it, but I try not to lose so much weight so fast. I, I've heard of people getting the surgery and losing 100 pounds in six months, 80 pounds in six months. Like, I didn't want that. Um, what I did was lose around 10 pounds a month, and towards the end of my weight loss, I'm still trying to lose weight. I got 20 more pounds to go. I've lost 75 pounds in total. Um, I want to lose like another 20, but towards the end, like in the fifth, sixth, seventh month, like I started to plateau and wasn't losing any weight, but you know, my inches were changing. I'm concerned because I didn't want to keep losing 10 pounds every single month, you know, or 15 pounds in one month. So that's pretty much it as far as tips on preventing loose skin, if at all even possible. 
All right, so I'm open. I'm open book for you guys. I want to thank you so much for your support. I know it's a difficult decision. I hope my videos are helping you guys with a little bit of insight on what you can expect. If you have any questions, you can leave them below. Or if you feel more comfortable, you can email me, which is email at, oh, I'm sorry. You can email me at info at crystalchanel.com. You can also check out the fitness tab if you go to my blog. Um, just search the tag fitness and you'll see some other helpful um, blog posts. And my, my website is www.crystalchanel.com. I'll put all the info in the box below. And of course, if you guys want to know about my hair, um, this is Lux Crown Hair. This is in our platinum color and I put low lights in. I'm probably going to upload that video soon on my beauty channel. So be sure that you're subscribed and I'll put that link right over here so that you can subscribe to both my channels. So that's it. Um, I want to thank you again for your support and you guys stay fabulous and stay fierce. This lady knows her stuff, so I wanted to share with you guys my latest obsession and definitely if you're interested, go ahead and get you one too. So your hair can be on fleek though.